because you know I actually it's, it's sometimes it's scary because you know I had this heart operation, triple heart bypass, you know, about nine years ago. And what happens? I didn't realize at the time. Later, the doctors told me what happened. I thought heart operation, cut and insert the thing, right? They freeze stop the heart, they stop the lungs, freeze both heart and lung. Then they put a, a heart lung machine. Any doctors here? Ah, oh, there you are, sir. They usually know, sir. I'm <laughs> scared to block towards them. <laughs> I worked in cardiac surgery, so. There you are. So, you know, so, so it's correct, right, sir? They freeze the heart and lungs. I didn't know they did all that. They did. Yeah. And then they put heart lung machine, then they do the operation. And then after that, they take his the, the what, uh, I think it's a shock. Shock the heart on. Yeah. Later, the operation the doctor told me. And then I said, wow, you did that? Yeah, but you no, know, sometimes it, it doesn't revive, you know. <laughs> You're telling me after the operation. <laughs> anyway, the funny thing is, after the operation, I think it's a dog, this is my, this is my, my what I thought happened to me, I think. You know, because sometimes the synapse, you know, the brain, you know, don't reconnect. And maybe the, the, if it doesn't reconnect, it's a shoot. So now I have a memory gaps that are funny. I'm going with my children. My daughter and daughter, Papa, I say, it is a nice hotel. I'll pass by. I'd like to go in a tourist place. He said, oh, we there. We stayed there for one, one week, she said. I have no recollection. I haven't seen the hotel. <laughs> well, it's really scary, you know. So, something like that happens, you know, then. But fortunately, I don't forget any all the spiritual things, you know, and religious <laughs> things that I should know. We <laughs> still houses, we're going here, sometimes people, you know. One day, one fellow met in Puttapati. This was long, nothing to the heart, la. <laughs> because he met me, he said, oh, but how are you going to go? And I said, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, sir. My scary thing is, sometimes I forget, I don't even know which continent, I know this guy, <laughs> but not which continent of <laughs> He said, he, then he said, yeah, I remember you, but I'm not too sure where I met you. I met you in Canada, 15 years ago, and he drove me from the airport to the hotel. <laughs> She was very disappointed, I could not remember him there for the after 15 years ago. I don't know, I didn't know, so this is a... I mean, like, people like Gunal, I can't forget, you know, and now so many people come into my life, and so I can't forget because it's imprinted the image, like, you know. Anyhow, I said, no need to record all this. <laughs> so, he tell me about what's happening here, I mean, I would like to know what's happening here rather than here. I'm, I'm talking about here. What's the situation here, like? The situation here, I think... It is, I mean, it's a small center, only one center in Hamilton. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> this is our regular core group. Oh, I see. Yeah. Some of them are not here, otherwise, we have about 40, 50 members in it, who are regularly. So, the, the really committed group is what you're seeing right now in front of you. So, hey, they, and we can shake the world, man. <laughs> well, the two people, three people, we can, we can, we can, we can shake the world, you know, that's the power of one. Okay. Here we have. Uh, Earthquakes, so the Lord shakes the world for us. <laughs> <laughs> See how the people can blame God for <laughs> So, what topic you all want to talk about today? So, what do you talk about? I don't know, any questions you can ask. What do you talk about? Maybe we go like that, you know, instead of me choosing a topic which may be totally irrelevant to your interest, you pick a topic that you'll want to talk or discuss, then we talk. So, we give the young people a chance first. So now it's only going up the ladder now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So anything, will you all choose the topic? And then there's one thing you mentioned on the stage the other day, in three days they said that about the Bhagavad Gita, the entire narration, mm -hmm. how long it took and what actually transpired. Oh. You said you would share that, you know, yeah, but you never did that. I need to have the PowerPoint. Oh, okay. Because it's, it's passages that uh, Swami talked about. Oh, okay. Uh, basically what happened was this, so what Swami said, I used to wonder, you know, how come such a long poem, you know, and Krishna on the battlefield, the thousands of people, thousands, hundreds of thousands of warriors, all kind the horses, elephants, everybody, all oh, ready to battle, you know. Can you imagine the lords of, lords of the ring, you know, you've seen, right? Ah, you look all the battle, in the wild, you imagine the lords of all the battle, ready to then, oh, big speech is giving, you know, to somebody, you know. That was the other side of taking everyone shot him by then. <laughs> hey, get on with it, okay. <laughs> so I used to wonder, did really it happen? And I used to wonder, but no one could answer the question. And Swami one day said, it is not that Krishna gave the entire poem, he did not do that, he said. Krishna gave Arjuna some terse instructions. This, 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 this is what you do. You know? What Vyasa did was, because he was a great jnani himself, he took every word 
and made into a verse. Mm. You know, he made every verse and made into a verse, okay? That, that thing. That, that, that's how the Bhagavad Gita did work. And of course, you know, the divinity must have guided him to do this. So that's why the, the poem is like that. <coughs> but another thing I always used to amuse me, you know. You know what used to amuse me? How, let's say the, the Bhagavad Gita is there, you know, the verses are there. How did Krishna convey this to Arjuna? Imagine the battlefield. Mm. What did he say? The battlefield, you know. Did he stand there and say, you know, so let's take one verse of, of the Bhagavad Gita, okay? Advaita Bhutana, Bhutana, Maitriya Karuna Ivacha, that, that verse. Did Krishna say, you know, Arjuna, Advaita Sarva Bhutana, Maitriya Karuna Ivacha, Nirmamo Nirahankara, Tamadukka Bukasami, that goes on like that. Did he say that? Or did he say, Krishna, uh, Arjuna? Advesta Sarva Bhutana <laughs> Maitriya Karuna Evacha Nirmamo Nir Ahamkara Samadukta Sutta Shami. Did he say that? Or did he say, Arjuna, Advesta Sarva Bhutana Maitriya Karuna Evacha Nirmamo Nir Ahamkara Sam- Which, how did he say? This, I told wonder about that, okay. Then until I saw that, what Swami said later. <laughs> None of this was true, okay? You know, he probably gave the first one. <laughs> it's very terse instructions, you know. So, if you have an opportunity, one day we can, we can share that, what exactly what uh, Krishna said in, in, the, in the Gita. But what is more interesting is this, you know. I mean, all of you have this food mantra, Brahmatpana. Mm-hmm. Do you know what's the origin of food mantra? Where is it from? Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, you know. Now, can you imagine now, why did Krishna... So we have thought, give a, give a food mantra <laughs> during the battle in the, in the battle of Mahabharata. Is he giving a big makkah and then he the banquet? Hello, have a makkah before I, I keep, we, keep, all of you get killed. You know? So why the Brahmatpanam food mantra is there? You know? it's a very interesting thought. But then you must, and, and, and actually, basically, the essence of the mantra is that whatever you do, of did offering to God. That's the Brahmatpanam, Brahma Atpanam. You offer the Brahman, offering to Brahman, that's all. So the poem goes like that. And, but Baba then once told the students, which, which I came across one thing, a, food, a, a real food prayer. This is a battlefield prayer, which is, which is equally okay. Which I use now because the Brahmatpanam mantra is a long mantra, I can't remember. So, <laughs> so what I do? I use the, the mantra Baba gave. Baba says, Annam Brahma. Raso Vishnu, Bhakta Maheshwara. That's a mantra Swami is giving. Annam Brahma, the food, Annam, is Brahma. Raso Vishnu, the person who, the essence, is Vishnu. Bhakta Maheshwara, the consumer, is Maheshwara. So the same concept of everything offered to Brahma. You know, so like that. So that's so then I do that and then I do the Gayatri Mantra, you know, Om Bhur Vasa, you know, that. So that is, uh, but we all should continue the Brahma, because you all learn that, use that again. But this one also I used to do all the <laughs> But I went to one, <laughs> one funny one. I went to an uh, America, uh, one Sikh scientist, brilliant scientist. He's a gold medal winner, you know, for so many scientists. He's Sikh, turban Sikh and all that. He's the one who helped, helped us launch this interfaith event where in Little Rock, Arkansas, oh. where he made the free, first ever free medical clinic, you know. So one day I was in his house. He said, okay, Jaga, let's have a... Put prayer, yeah. Then he said, he said, I'm all over here. Rabba dab dab, please, God bless this grub. I started laughing. Rabba dab dab, please, God bless this grub. Then he continued. Brahma, Brahma, Brahma. It's good to have again. There's a good to have sense of humor and dignity, you know. It's like that. Okay, he just shares some experience with you. I won't go into how I became Baba I think everybody knows all that. Okay? Mm-hmm. And I was anti Sai and then he did and then everybody came and all that. But, uh. Sorry, no interruption. Uncle, would you mind sharing uh, some of the experiences that you've had with Swami in the interview? Interview? Okay. Y'all can hear me. I mean, don't let me shoot. Yeah. If you can't hear me, then you've got two choices. Either put a hearing aid or come here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I actually try to avoid nowadays talking about interview experience with interview room 
because I realize that now people won't have the chance in future, you know, so it's more, more frustrating, oh, other than that, they won't have the chance again. Okay. So I, I avoid that talk. I prefer to talk about miracles that happen outside his presence, you know, that everybody can experience, okay, you know. But let me take one or two incidents, you know. I think I told you this, you know, about that song. Did I tell you about the song? The Tamil song. The Tamil song I sang to Swami. No, we don't. How many of you were there in, in Auckland, I said this, right? In Auckland. How many of you were not there in Auckland? Ah, uh, you're not interested, why is I should tell you? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. This is a very interesting incident. And I think I've had close about 50 interviews, Swami, you know. It's like a doctor, and like doctors only go and see the patients who are sick. Okay? They don't see the visitors, they don't see the cashiers, all the minor doctors and dealers. The very sick, the very sick patient. Huh? <laughs> what, what, what? My wife is telling me. Which one? Oh. And also, your mother, your mother, how you took your mother, that uh, they didn't, you didn't tell this time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, the garland one. Yeah. Let me tell you that since you met me, some of you don't know this first part. First part is my mother. Some of you are close to the 15th year, you know, and, and me, because I'm really sick, I'm here, really at the attentive, you know, you know, doctor, you don't deal with all the casual visitors in the, in the hospital. Neither do you, visit, you, you deal with all the headache, cough, and cold. Only the real serious case you attend. Like that, you know, it's really, it's really, a really hard case, I better attend it. Right? <laughs> so he used to call me quite often. Very interesting, the early days. Before I got all these positions, and I'll sit in the crowd, you know, huge crowd, I'll sit there. And I'll, because I'm a government servant, I can't take much leave. You know. So normally I go to Europe for conferences, economic, and we go for economic monitor, and then Europe, you know, for one or two or two weeks. Those days before Sai, the more the conference over, we are go sightseeing everywhere, you know, we take a few days. After Sai, Friday afternoon, the thing finishes, Friday evening flight straight into Bangalore. Then we go see Swami, Saturday, Sunday night, I'm going to fly back to KL because Monday I'm going to go, I can't take so much leave. Those are the fantastic days. I'll be sitting in some crowd, somewhere in the crowd, you know. Somehow he'll find me. Hey, why don't you come? So he says, ah, come, come, come. He used to foster me tremendously. But at the same time, I had many challenges. <coughs> Maybe I'll share with you on some amusing part of, of that challenge, okay. But the first interview itself is very interesting. Because you know, when I first, in, when I became, after the, all the Vibhuti manifestation, Vibhuti came and I challenged him and all that, then I started studying, bhajan started pouring out of me and uh, I started attending bhajans, a lot of experience began to have. And among the visions, <coughs> among the songs used to come out of me, you know. So what, uh, I wrote all the songs, by the time first interview when I went and uh, after was it, about 35 songs had come out. So I wrote all a little book and I had written and there's a ribbon all put there. And I was going to go. <laughs> so there's a very funny incident here. Uh, since I was going to go, I was going to go to Paris for a conference actually, economic conference. So I told my chairman, who was leading the delegation, I said, you don't mind, sir, I get four days, I go to India and see this Sai Baba, you know, my first visit. So he said, uh, the chairman asked me, uh, he, 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 he had known about Sai because the day before that, this, this, this Vibhuti, the, the, same, the same day, the Vibhuti manifesting came that night. I told this man who came from in Sri Lanka, you know, Raja, he knew some palm mystery and lucky numbers, you know. And my chairman, Muslim fellow, but he's a nice guy, but he loves to gamble, okay. <laughs> so, so I told sir, good man, very big, good, give you lucky numbers, I'm interested. Raja, you get some lucky numbers for me. So, so he said, I'll get now lucky numbers for me. So that evening, the incident happened. The people, they came, you know, the next morning, I'm going to office, you know, I'm, I'm in a shell-shocked state, okay. The chairman calls me with some something. I went to walk in this room. Can you imagine that? He looked at me. I said, what's wrong with you? I mean, that means I was really showing in my, in my appearance, you know. I said, nothing. Sir. No, what's wrong with you? Hey, you look different. What happened? Something happened to you? I said, no, sir. Something terrible happened last night. Okay. So what? Then I told him. You know? I told him about the lucky numbers. And I told him how the man, the people, the man, then he, he knows me well enough to know that I'm, I'm undergone an experience. Okay. So now I told my chairman I'm going to go to what? Uh, India to see Sai Baba. He said, Jaga, Sai Baba can help people. I said, yes, sir. I tell you what, he said, can you do something for me? I said, what? You see, my, my wife has a sister, has his sister-in-law, had cancer, you know, and then uh, uh, 
she had they done operation. The doctor said that she must not uh, conceive you know, for five years because second is. But now third year she's already not pregnant. So the family is worried, you know, will the baby be affected by the cancer in the second year? So can you ask him? And yes, I said, I'll ask him. <coughs> I'm so sure Swami's going to see me, you know. What's her name? <coughs> What's her name? So I'm going to say something and she gave the name. So I took the name and I went to India. <laughs> no, 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 forget. I went to India and, you know, I, because I'm having incredible experience in Malaysia, bro. you won't believe it. It was as though Swami was watching every minute, of whatever I wanted, tak, tak, and appear. I had the visions, I had the vision of me buying Pasa Swami, so I had the vision of me walking with me and jogging with me in the field, and I go. I really thought I was going mad. And so I told my family, I think I'm going mad. And I said, why? I'm seeing Baba everywhere, he's jogging me with me in the field, you know. I'm crazy. I mean, I'm a very stable mind, and I, how can that happen to me? So I'm going to put you know, India now, and the experience is so strong in Malaysia. I was sure somebody, because first time I'm going to India, I got, but you won't believe, by the time I was 32, I joined the Malaysian government 20, 21 plus something. By the time I was 32, I'd gone around the world five, six, seven times. I got America five times, Japan six times, Europe seven times. You know, because we're traveling with a, with a, with a very high tech, with high Hakai, with the prime minister, with the ministers, you know, we're promoting investments. You know. Last place I went to was India, because those days India was no interest to us. India was not a technology exporting country. Now they are, but those days, no. India was not. So, no interest in India. Now, first time going to India. So, what uh, my mother says, you know, Kanan, uh, I told her, Amma, I'm going four days to, 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 to India, see Sai Baba. And he said, Kanan, you know what, uh, they say very difficult to see Sai Baba, you only go four days, you know. Why don't you know so, or so many Indian companies? Why don't you call one of the companies and ask them to fix an apartment for you, Sai Baba? <laughs> <laughs> my mother, you know, she said, so a good idea. So I called this company called Kraloska. Those days, now Kraloska has shifted the headquarters. Those days, Kraloska headquarters was in Bangalore. Now it's somewhere else. And I knew the chairman, Ravi Kraloska. So he came and set up a factory in Malaysia, you know, and I was helping him. So I called the, the local manager, you know, of Kraloska. And Mr. Kraloska, listen, I'm going to go to India. Oh, Mr. Kraloska, tell me, very happy, because you're all dying to do some favor for me, you know. I never asked for anybody, you know. Let us know, no, 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 what I will book for your car, will you? I don't understand. Can you fix an appointment for me to see Sai Baba? No problem, sir, because we have a headquarters in Bangalore. You know? I think that's easy enough. <laughs> so, the three, three days later, he calls me. Mr. Jaga, I call my headquarters. They say they can fix an appointment for you with any minister in India. But Sai Baba, impossible. <laughs> see, now we are happy, you know, now that, now that it is not such an easy thing, you know. So, anyhow, what happened was, sir? Uh, <laughs> I, but I think it's coming, surely, uh, after all this fantastic experience having in Malaysia, when I, you know I'm coming, I'm sure when I, first time I come to India, no, I'm sure when I land in Putra, in Bangalore, there'll be somebody at the airport, no? Jagadisha, Sai Baba waiting for you. Baba asks us to come. That's like kind of crazy thing, you know. By the time I'm through, you'll think I'm exact like what. So, gonna, so anyway, I'm waiting for Swami to do this. So I go to the, get into the plane. And I'm reading on Baba's book, you know. I'm reading Baba's book. And sitting beside me, there was one Punjabi lady. And what she is doing, I'm reading Baba's book. She is holding a framed picture of Baba. And the entire journey she is looking at the picture on me. <laughs> Whole journey she is looking at the picture on me, you know. Okay, first she started the flight, I thought she was okay. Oh, I'm looking, looking, I said, what's wrong with the lady, you know? So I said, hey, then she must be Baba, you know? she must be going to see Baba, you know? Maybe I can strike a conversation with her. Then she'll guide me. So, but I dare not talk to her first, you know? So what do you know, the book I'm holding, you know? I held the book like this so that she can see Baba's picture, you know? <laughs> I'm reading Baba's book here, you know? Uh, but, uh, uh, <laughs> no chance, you know, she was focusing on the pictures. Finally, I had no chance. Look very hostile. Yes. Have you been there? Yes, I've been there many times. See, I'm first time I'm going. Uh, can you guide me where I got to go? Oh, well, Baba doesn't encourage me to talk to strangers. Oh, this lady is a bit by my phone. I said, okay. You got a, car, a hotel you booked? No, no, I haven't booked a hotel. Then what are you going to say? No, Baba's arranged. What about car? 
It's such a funny, in, a funny incident in this room. Let me tell you what happened about some of the others. There's one girl sitting there. <laughs> She's a young, young girl. Swami, Swami, Swami. Swami, see Swami. In Malaysia, Swami, I pass all my exam already, Swami. Swami, can you get me a job? <laughs> I couldn't believe this girl has interest in me. Then she said, Swami, see, see Swami, see my, my brother Swami, he's working in the, in the electricity board. Can I get a job there? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe this girl asking this question, okay? <laughs> but on reflection, I was thinking to myself, I suppose in the silence of her own prayer room in a house. Yeah. That's a question she'll ask Swami. So the pure innocence of this girl, she's voicing out what she would ask in the, in the prayer, in the, in the prayer yeah. room. Very interesting, you know, this later when I analyze this, what appeared to be a ridiculous thing. But not so ridiculous after all, no? from her point of view. And then anyway, a lot of funny things happened at the end. And then what, uh, <coughs> then Swami, okay, then this one Swami did something. Swami is omniscient, you know, right? See, Swami, what are the qualities of divinity? Is omniscient, om omnipresent, all knowing. But he doesn't have, Swami doesn't have to prove every time he's, he's omniscient, he's God, okay? Once in a while, he may give us a chance. He may just open the Maya curtain to glimpse him. Then he close it again. Then you must struggle through and come through, you know. He is not there to prove every time. He gave me a lot of chances. He gave me a lot of chances to realize this. So I was sitting there with him. Don't forget, huh? he has already told me about the song in the morning. Mm -hmm. So now I didn't raise the subject again. I mean, there so much interview people are there and all. So I said, Swami, what the... Uh, uh, how's mother, he said. Fine, Swami. No, no, not fine. See, Swami, see, okay, no, no, see, see, your mother, uh, both her legs are arthritic pain, no? Ah, no, first he said, my mother, how's your mother? I said, okay, my no, mother, my good devotee, he said. Now, my mother's not a Baba at the time. Mm. She was, what, this, what, what, the Santanandas group, you know, she was there. Yeah. But in my house those days, brother, there was no God picture anywhere in my house. Because I was totally empty, you know, but only in my mother's bedroom and God picture. No other place. Then I said, Swami, how, how, what house? What, uh, mother, I said, Mother is okay, Swami. Oh, good devotee. He said, like that. I said, No, Swami, she's not a devotee. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Look at the bedroom. He said, Look at the bedroom, all those pictures. Hey, all are one. Be alike to everyone. That's a fun message for me. I carry in my heart always. All are one. Be alike to everyone. Then he said, Your Mother, you see? Both her legs are arthritic pain. Now, I knew this. I knew. Then I said, you see, her right leg is more painful than her left leg. The devotees, I am living with my mother all my life. I knew she had some arthritic pain. But I never knew that her right leg was more painful than her left leg. You know, give me a sweet leg. Break it. More pain than left leg. Then, then he said, her right eye is weak. This I did not know. Okay, let me move for, for, fast forward. Eh? A lot of things happen in the interview, no? Then I go to Paris, and then I go to Paris, and then I come back to Paris. Now, my mother, see, my father died when I was seven years old. My mother had five children. The youngest was about one year old, less than one year old. She really worked day and night, very stoic lady, you know. She held her steel, she brought all the way through, all of the way became graduates, you know. She worked, never knew my mother looking for personal happiness for herself. Always children, children, children. Day and night she worked. That's why I worship her, my God. And, uh, so she, what, and I never knew that she had, so, so when, I, when I went to, huh? when I went to what, uh, when I went back home, to watch the drama, I go back home, my mother is standing there. Amma, 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 yes. Amma, Baba, Baba, what talked about you? Hmm. What do you say? Not that, oh, what do you say? Uh, what do you say? No, Baba says, both the legs are the pain. Mm, I know that. Mama, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baba said, your right leg is more painful than your left leg. Mm, I know that. <laughs> Mama, Baba says, your right eye is weak. What's he talking about? <laughs> Nothing wrong with my eyes. <laughs> I got a shock of my life. The avatar had made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but we devotees are very forgiving, you know. I thought of myself, no way, two out of three is a good score. <laughs> so I, I quickly forgot about this mistake Baba apparently made. 
Yes, pass. 76, 77, 78, 79. 98. My house became a cyber center, hundreds of floors come to other you. I tell you, people come and I don't know who they are. Every time I go to work, come back, full of people inside. Attend the size center inside my house. Okay. And I quietly go upstairs and sit down. Okay. No, no, no. Because then a lot of meetings will be held there. My mother will tell me, hey, this is no more house, no? it's a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm not going to come in the play. Man. Yeah, it's very nice. So, this, uh, this uh, uh -huh. oh, I see. What am I my this thing? So what um so years passed. Nineteen eighty, I used to go meantime I used to go to India you now every four times a year, when I go to four three or four times a year, because I totally come back. Every time I come back with fantastic stories, you know. Wow, so many this, so many this, you know. So this time I'm going to India, Baba my mother says, ah. You're going to Europe after that, you're going to see Swami? Can I come with you? Wow, I'm yeah, sure you're coming here. So what I did, I arranged my friends now. So I came here from Europe, you know, from to Bangalore. Friends arranged for her to meet me. So I arrived at the airport just before she arrived and my coach side was there. Now what happened is, <laughs> this is a real drama. We get in the car, we go and try to find where Swami is. No one knows where Swami is. Swami is not in Bangalore, not in Buddha. I arrived there on a what? On a Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I must leave. Work Monday. And but to me, and I, I'm, a, I'm a director of university. I can't take, I can't just disappear from my work, you know. I'm a bad example of staff and it's against the discipline of the government. Really, there's no sign of Swami. So I just feel like, that time, by the time I knew Professor Kasturi very well, no? Mm -hmm. Oh, I must tell you my meeting with Professor Kasturi, then another adventure. But as, as uncle, I said, the guy here, where is Swami? My mother is here. Ah, Jagani, I still don't know where Swami is. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wow, even Professor Kassim doesn't know. Jagani, anyway, you're very lucky. You, you, can, you come to my house now, he said. I'm having Satyana Puja. His son was retiring at that, that, that day, or some that period. So he's having Satyana Puja. Can you come? I said, okay, so that is next to meeting Swami, Kast, meeting Kasturi was uh, he's the second best, okay? So we all went to Kasturi's house. But Ajna Kasi is very loving. He gave me, he presented me two kutubala, you know, swan kutubala. I know what happened to the kutubala. You know, then the, the, the bhajan, the prayer over. Prayer over, phone rings, Kasi takes the phone. Ah, Swami has arrived in Whitefield. So no one can even, no one knows Ali's arrived in Whitefield. Wow, immediately we got the car, you know, rushed to Whitefield. Mother and, mother and another lady from Malaysia, and who was accompanying her, you know, and her son. Each white field, the main gate of white field is closed. You know, the white field those days, you know, even today, there are two gates. One of the main gate, then you enter the place, the, 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 the hostel is there, then you go in Swami's house there, the gate is there. The main gate is closed. Sign is there saying, Dear devotees, no darshan until Sunday because students are having exam. I am leaving already, you know. And after all the stories I told my mother about meeting Swami and all, you know, if she, Baba doesn't get the, she doesn't get chance to see even Darshan of Baba, she will really turn against Swami, you know. So what, you know, how naive I was, you know. I am still lambert, there's days more. I stood outside the gate, Swami, what is this? So I took a note. I wrote a note. Dear father, dear father, I said, my mother has come, Swami, you must see us, Swami, please, Swami, you know, first time is coming, you know. So please, Swami, I put a note and rolled up, folded the note, and I took it through the gate. No? I'm looking, and the one Sevadal was there. Say, come in. So he came. Yeah. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Yes, sir. What, what is this? You take this note and give Baba. He <laughs> 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 said, no, sir, no, sir, we can't give No, Baba knows me, I said. <laughs> he said, Baba knows everybody. <laughs> then he's, he's terrified, he moved away from the gate, okay? I know, Swami was given the idea to be to do it. So I called him again. Can you come again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, please come. What's up? Uh, I'm not asking you to take the note. You just come. 
So he came, like a very like a very frightened thing. Okay, I tell you, can you do this? See this mouth? So I told you I can't take no. You don't know what to take. You just take and put in your pocket. Put in your pocket. Then you walk into the Swami's area. The Swami calls you and takes the note, then fine. If not, you just come out. Can you do that? He is reflecting for a while. What the odds of him can you do trouble? <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, he must have thought to himself, you know, hey, Swami, this is really called take the note. The advantage for him, you know, he gets a chance to. Oh. So finally, the possibility of him getting a chance to be close to Swami, as opposed to the fear of, you know, of him, he decided to do so. He said, okay. So, sir, sir, I take note. Put pocket, huh? I go inside and come out. That's all. Yes. I'm in home, go to such. I sang that song, you know. The Bhagwan made the digging. No, that's all. I sang that song, singing that song. Song with the song. Tell 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 you a song later. Suddenly, I'm standing there. Or two minutes later, I see three or four bull youth running out of the of the of the you know. They run to the gate. These students, you know. Check this and check this in Malaysia. Yes. Swami says, come to his evening for darshan, for bhajan inside, inside the house. Wow, look at the odds of that happening. Now happened with all mothers in this place. Swami had t- called the door and taken the note from the boy, you know. So come for darshan in the evening. So evening, every evening, Swami, after lunch or something or dinner, Swami gathers all the students you know, in the veranda of his house, okay, that he has bhajan and he has informal satsang. <coughs> so then evening, my, 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 myself, my wife, and my mother and the Two people we were there. So the, the main satsang is in the veranda. In all the boys are there. Swami's chair, chair is there. Then there's a room outside there with a curtain around it. Ladies are sitting there. It's all, all is packed. So I'm sitting there. Swami comes first into the lady's side. And he comes out. I'm sitting there. He comes to me. I saw me and my mother. Ah, yes, I know. I saw mother there. In the meantime, I've already written my second book, okay? Jaina God Part 2. And I wanted Swami to bless him. So I had no chance that Swami, please, Swami, bless my book. Your book? That is your second book you wrote? I said, Swami. Bless now? Why now? Come tomorrow morning. Swami will give it to you. Oh, I tell you, I couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. So then he went, he went, he went, he, after he went off. So next morning I asked the boys, hey guys, please, sir, what time? Swami says I should come. What time should I come? No, Swami generally comes down at about 7.30 something, you know. Now no, no, no darshan. Right? So you come at about 7 o'clock. So, at 7 o'clock, uh, my the car, you're staying in the Woodlands Hotel, no? Car, we come before 7 o'clock, you know, 6.45 I think we're there. 6.45 a car arrives outside Swami's gate. So three or four boys standing outside you now, all frantically looking at cars. Then I stop there. You're Jagadishan, Malaysian. Uh, yes. Swami is waiting for you. Go, go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened like that. Okay. So we jumped and ran, and Swami went, went to the interview room area. In my field, Swami opened the door. We all walked in. So my, my mom, this lady from Malaysia, Rangaya's uh, uh, wife, no? in Rangaya, yeah. Rangaya, Rangaya his uh, uh, child, one child was there. My mother. And then, uh, we, we, then Baba walks in. Baba opens the door, you know, comes, come, come inside. And then very interesting, now watch. So quickly, I walked walk, walk there and sat beside Baba's chair. My mother a bit slow, and she's walking. Baba closed the door. Mother still standing. The other two ladies, the other lady is sat on the floor. The mother looks, so Baba looks at my mother. Ah, inna samacharam. You know, many of you know Tamil? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, sorry. No, son, how are you? How are things? How are things? Yes. I said, okay, okay, Swami. No, no, not okay. I'm sitting and listening to one it's not okay. Then he said, you see, both your legs are arthritic pain, no? I said, yes, Swami. And your right leg is more painful than your left leg, no? Yes, Swami. He's rewinding the tape now that took 1976, you know. Now he's 80, exact words. Then he says, and your right eye is weak. He says that. Did you, I'm sitting beside him. I said, I said, so much. Swami, you made the same mistake again. <laughs> Mother replies, yes, Swami, my eyes giving me trouble last six months. <laughs> that was a coin that dropped for her. Then when he realized, you know, that 
how Baba came. You see, Swami is omniscient, omnipresent. Okay? So whenever he tells something to someone, he sees you in not in a point of time, but in a span of time. He just tells like that. And the best example I can give is like this. You know, omniscience. Eh? This is a, a building, a tall building. Hmm? And there's a road in front. And there's a circus procession going on. So the circus is going on and there's, there's a first there's a elephant going past. After some time, some uh, lions go past. After some time, horses are there. Okay. Now that the two people, one first standing at the bottom of the of the of the of the building, and one standing on the top. So as the guys pass by, the bottom bottom fellow is saying, "Hey, I'm seeing an elephant." Then this fellow says, "Yeah, I see." Then the fellow says, "Hey." Wow, I'm seeing a, what, a lion and I'm seeing a horse. The fellow said, what is not nonsense doing? I can't only see elephant. No, no, I'm seeing horse. Where is he seeing him? I'm only seeing this one. Mm. You know, so this man standing there can see a span of his vision is like this. The man at the bottom is seeing the vision like this. We are the man at the bottom. As I suppose if we evolve, you know, into, into what, uh, as you go up the, up the ladder of spirituality, you know, slowly, slowly the vision gets broader and broader. You know, and you're able to, as I'm how you can do this, you know. See the past, present, and future. You know? So now, when after the elephant passed, then the lion is here. The elephant is the fu- is the past. The lion is the present. The horse is the future. When Baba talked to people, uh, he, he talks like this. Many people make a mistake. Baba says something; it doesn't happen according to their time span, and they lose faith. Now Baba said this thing happening. You know? But now I realize what happened. So thank God I didn't lose faith. So now in front of my mother, mother then Baba said, don't worry, Swami will give you uh, the prasadam, uh, vibhuti. Then he gave it. Anyway, then <laughs> Professor Ka- suddenly he tells, uh, he opens the door, uh, call Professor Kasturi. So Professor Kasturi joins our interview. Oh, you must see that inter- the interview, the interaction between Professor Kasturi and Baba. And, uh, because, then he asked my mother to sit in the chair. Then he told Baba, because I should here beside me. Uh, this man, He's a lady. He's telling us, he's a lady. <laughs> then Swami Kastur said, Swami, why you call me lady? <laughs> yeah, lady. Uh, Gandhi's mother's name was what? Kastur, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, really, really wonderful interaction between Swami and... Uh, anyway, that interview <laughs> went on like that. And um, I was very happy that Swami had given my mother a tremendous blessing. <laughs> so anyway, what, uh, going back to the first interview, you know, I fast tracked that part about the mother story. You know? Now my chairman story. Remember the chairman story? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So what I did, I had the piece of paper. Swami, can I ask you a question about my chairman's mother and sister? Ah, what do you ask? Swami, see, I told a story, you know, my chairman sister no, no, she has a cancer operation, the breast, and then she's now pregnant, you know, the whole family is worried, the child will get better. Right? Hmm. No, Swami, look after. She'll be okay. Baby will be okay. Swami, look after. So casually he said, you know, not great, revolution, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell them this? Yeah, tell them. Swami, I really can tell them. <laughs> Swami, this is my chairman sister in law. Swami, my chairman sister in law. Hey, tell. She'll be okay. So, what happened was, so you come back to the chairman story. Huh? So then, when I finished on it, then we went to put, Paris met my chairman. He asked me, Dega, oh, did Baba say anything? Yes, yeah, Baba said, baby will be perfect. They'll be okay. You yeah, sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I, I mean, I, I come and Baba said, finish. And then he asked me, what about the, the mother, baby's mother? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, you never ask me that's what baby's mother. <laughs> you only ask about baby. Hey, food, why don't you ask about mother also? <laughs> I said, sir, you don't ask me ask about the mother. But since Baba didn't comment about the mother, I think I was going to So that was, you know. So after that, they have a little respect, you know, so they don't block my side activities. You know. Baba, I think, created the drama. Make sure my chairman doesn't block my activities, I activities. He appreciate what I was doing. Now the third part of the story. Remember the song, Adhariya Bhai? Mm-hmm. 
I, I told her son already. Yes. Yeah. I told her. Yeah. So then I won't go into that. No, no. Huh? Sing it. Okay, okay. Those of you others don't know. Okay. Now, how many don't know Tamil? Don't know Tamil. Oh, I see. It's only okay, right. Which one? Which one? The cassette. Cassettes, so yeah. More relevant. More relevant. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, the, the song story maybe we'll tell like, in, a, in a public event. That's one. She won't tell me this cassette story. It's very relevant already. Relevant to many people. Yeah. You see, you never play the fool with God. Okay. Sometimes you, we think we can fool divinity. And divinity will hit back at you. Such a way you can't imagine. <clears throat> so what happened is in Malaysia, as the I started producing this. Th those days, you know, I, I those days there were two major centers of elders there. At the time I was 32, 33, something, you know, 30. There were elder, there were two small centers were there, they were all fighting each other. You know. So we Bab since Bab, Baba told me in the first interview, Jagdish, he told me, Jagdish, you go back to Malaysia, I want you to be president of the Sevada. I didn't know what to say with that. No? Tamil Shruta, we don't know what to say with that. <laughs> only president say with that. So I thought you used the word president. Okay? <laughs> I thought you only president of the organization. Okay? <laughs> Swami, Swami, please Swami, I'm very young Swami, ask somebody else to be in there. Then he said, no, no. See, these are the volunteers, not each one. That's why I'm tired of it. And they said, only singing, singing. Exactly. Singing, singing. <laughs> not doing any seva. Tell them, go into seva, go into seva. For the salvation, they must do seva. Now, I'm thinking to myself, no? I know I'm a director of investment in the Ministry of Industry, Ministry of in the Industrial Development Agency. I'm very busy. I have a very high profile figure in Malaysia. No? And because of promoting investments, I knew a chairman of companies, ambassadors, everyone. No? So I would get about 10 or 12 invitations every week for cocktail dinners in the top hotels in Malaysia, in the ambassadors' homes, you know. Very busy. My life was full. Go to work now, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock we clock in, 5.30 come out, come back, bathe, exercise, evening 7.30, 8 o'clock, cocktail dinner, cocktail dinner. Now Baba is telling me, you go to the what man, man, go no, I'm thinking myself, I'm already so busy. <laughs> <laughs> like no time, my wife was very really full, okay. Swami, I have no time, Swami. Why without a cocktail dinner, there's like a time. Then Swami turned away from me. He said, I'm not turning, turn away, he started talking to others. Hey, sing. So I sang this song. This song, one song has a tremendous impact in my life, you know, but the way Swami did this is a very, very funny way. The song, okay, it's in Tamil, so I'll go, I'll, the song goes like this, okay, and I'll give you the translation. Let me sing the song first, okay. Bhagavan Munnai Te... No, I'll tell you, I'll give line, line, and give it easier for you to understand. Bhagavan Munnai Teda Hindi Baba, I'm searching for you. Iraiva Munnai Venda Hirin O Lord, I'm asking something from you. Vendu Hor Wunde Yenga Hirin I yearn for something from you. Un Arul Vendum Nada Hirin Yearn for your grace. <coughs> Bhagavan, Bhagavan, Bhagavan. Sai Baba, unnai ket kinde. Sai Baba, I'm asking you. Ket, ket kumi, I'm asking you. Ket tadai, ket is ket tadai, what I ask for. Niyum kodupayu, kodupayu means give, okay? Ket tadai niyum kodupayu. Un arul vindum. Yenge irin, I yearn for your grace. Arul means grace. Iraiva ni ingu varuvayo. Oh Lord, will you come in front of me? Iraiva ni ingu varuvayo. That's how the song goes like that. Small, simple song. So I'm singing now. So while I'm singing, nobody can talk, you know, because I mean, so everybody is giving Baba pictures to sign, books to sign, no. Old Pai, he signed so many pictures and books that day. And he was busy signing. So I'm singing now. Bhagavan Unnai Tede Gindri. Very softly. Yeah. I like something. Bhagavan Unnai Tede Gindri. Iraiva Unnai Vendagirin. Vendagirin. My voice is going. 
he became very strong sir. and then he became very very strong with me subsequently he set up a he moved to Kanyin, you know, Goddess Kanyin, Goddess of Mercy. So he became a very, very... Some guided him to his own religion. Okay? He can't be a, only Sai Baba, you know, he's not religion. So guide him to Kanyin. So anyway, that's how things... Start. So I was started selling these tapes, not everything. Then this lawyer and his wife started producing their own tapes. <coughs> the record here and there, you know, the Indian singers. And they'll put the, they'll put the cassette, they say... Uh, what, uh, Printed without any profits, at, sold at cost, blessed by Bhagavan. I don't know how to put Bhagavan, they put Bhagavan. So my people came and told me, Jagat, they're selling the tail at two, two, at two ringgit. I'm selling five ringgit. At five dollars. I said, five ringgit, no, not dollars in American dollars, five Malaysian ringgit. So I told them, listen, guys, I'm not competing with anybody. From competition, I'm doing this. And these songs of mine are not essential to sadhana. Those who one can buy, I know that we need, we need the money for the funding. No? So what am I doing? Don't, don't, don't look at anybody else, we are not competing. So that began the campaign there. So what happened is then, one day in Malaysia, I printed, I did three cassettes. Two Tamil, one English cassette. 100 copies each. 300 cassettes I take. We go to, we go to the nurse with the friend studios, all we record out all ourselves, you know. Harmonium and few other things. Now I go to Europe, taking these three cases with me, three samples. I know I'm going to come back to Puttaparthi. Wow, what a bless. Meantime, some of the members my cent our center, the uh, what, uh, <coughs> some Chinese devotees, you know, who's one Chinese girl, she used to play harmonium fantastic. She and a few others, a few Chinese and Indian devotees had come to Puttaparthi for Darshan. They brought the tapes also with me, but they all they all they're part of my team. Now what happened is, when I arrive in Puttaparthi, they all been excited. Chaka, chaka, oh, oh, Papa looking for you. What do you mean? So when they came a few days ago, they brought the tip to chat them for darshan, in darshan line for, with the, with the kasa. So they, they held up some Swami, Brother Jagadishan's, Brother Jagadishan's song, Swami. Swami asked them, this they're telling me. Swami, Jagadishan is here? Said, yes, Swami. He said, no, not now, he's coming. Said, oh, very happy, very happy. He just said, then I'll go off. Every day I'll come and ask them, Jagadish is here. Yeah. No, Swami is still not coming. Jagadish is here. Yeah. So when I came to so many times, Baba asking, you know. <coughs> you know and then I said, oh, very good. So Baba, Baba took the tape, but no, he didn't take it then, but he blessed it. Now I'm sitting in the darshan line, no? Hey, prodigal son has come. Baba every day asking for me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm sitting down. He, sitting beside me was one of the Chinese boys. You know? Baba comes to me. He passes. As he's coming, oh, I don't know, you know, he can just be waiting for me, Swami. Swami, 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 Goes the next fella beside me. Hey, how many in your group? So the fella says, now we have about 10 or 15 hours. Ah, come. So immediately all work interview. In the interview, I went sat beside the last year. Ah, when do you come? <laughs> Swami, I came yesterday, Swami. Ah, very happy. Then, conversation going on. Now watch what happens. Eh? See this drama about this. I take the three cases now. Hmm? Sorry, please bless me. Yes, please, Malaysian cases? Yes, Swami. Malaysian cases, no good. <laughs> <laughs> Songs very slow. <laughs> Music no good. Tell you what is. If can you imagine how many times, how many ways can one describe negatively? <laughs> <laughs> he went on and on and on and on, telling every possible name. My for me it sounded like eternity, you know. <laughs> and I felt the whole earth give opening and sinking down to hell. <laughs> and in my mind, only one one mind thought only. How do I destroy 300 tapes? So, <laughs> I'm thinking the one thing now. Do I throw it in the ocean? Or do I put the dustbin? Or do I burn it? I'm thinking like that, you know. I'm shattered. Now, what the funny thing is, in that interview room, remember I told you three guys who were now against me, you know? The husband, wife, and the third flood. He was sitting in that, he was there, he came with the Malaysian group. He was sitting right in the center of the room. 
The funny thing is, you know, I know what gave this fellow the mad, idiotic courage to do this. Baba saying, you know, see, Nadeshan there is no, no good. He echoed everything Swami said. No good, Swami? The song very slow. Very slow, Swami? No good. Music no good. Music no good, Swami? What? Who meant to do this? He kept on saying that. No, 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 we are in Malaysia, so we can do our best. Then it's... This... Your tapes? Out. <laughs> yes, Swami. You are singing? Yes, Swami. Hey, your songs are very good. You know the lawyer fellow, you know? Are you useless thing? <laughs> Devastating, you know? He's like, yeah, what's his name? What's his lawyer, lawyer? And somebody mentioned the name of it, you know? Are you the useless tears? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I put a fist wrong. You, know. you see uh, how Swami waited for the doctor, how they pass, you know. <laughs> you know they, pass, they don't lance it when it's young, you know. When they allow the pus to grow, 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 grow and lance the blow, you know. And it's uh, really very, very, what uh, it is such incredible incident. You know. So now this fellow had been very, and so he had, he had very close to me one time, now he's empty, you know. So now, then after the interview, we went out. The time before, side cover and built again. Okay? He was sitting in the sand and he's sitting in front of me, I'm sitting right behind him. And I felt, I felt really sorry for the fellow, you know, what he had done, okay? because he made a fool of himself. And I worked very closely with him. My, my heart really filled with love for him, right? So I reached out and tapped his shoulder. He turned and looked at me. Hey, Raja. His name is Raja Sukai. He passed away now. He's younger than me, you know? he's one of us. It worked so well. I, I, I held my hand out like this. Okay, I must tell you something else. What happened? Eh? Six months before this incident, I'd gone to see Swami. When I go to see Swami, sometimes no, I ask so many questions I've got, I, I sometimes scared or forget. So I type out all the questions on a piece of paper. And I go and when Swami calls me, I'm sure he's going to call me. He called me some last day, he'll call me. When I put it on the lap. Swami, he'll answer the questions. <laughs> so among the questions, you know, you know that, that time the, these guys were going around accusing me of all kinds of things, you know. So I put a charge sheet there, Swami, so these people say, I, I put the names. This uh, lawyer so-and-so, his wife and this other fellow, you know, they've been attacking me, vicious, Swami, they say I'm full of ego, they say I've now, I was, I had your grace and now I've lost your grace, they say I'm doing this, I'm doing so, I, entire charge sheet I put down. Swami, so, I don't know. Please guide me, Swami. So. Oh, I tell you, uh, Swami, so, I mean, and he, in fact, when I put, Swami so, was reading what I'm, I'm reading with him the words there, you know, he's reading loud, he's with us. There are people in front of us, you know, there were others, you know, that group was there, you know. Oh, oh, the ego, the ego, the ego, the ego, so I'm reading. And then, you know what he did? He just caught me and hugged me and put me on his lap. And, hey, don't know, it's all jealousy and jealousy. And you know, so I'm very happy with you. You will do something this way. I will look up. You don't know it. I know that. Now what? Why not whatever. Then, now fast forward now. In six months, this incident is happening. Vijay? Huh? Ah, right, right. Oh, yeah, no, thank you. See, she knows more than me. <laughs> <laughs> then, 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 Swami said, no. You see, he said, no, you see, don't worry. No. You see, only when the mango tree, you know, is full of mangoes, people throw stones. People throw stones. Swami also. Both of us got mangoes. So now we'll go by fast forward signal later. Now he's the fellow sitting in front of me. I reach out my hand and say, yeah, right. I say, Raja, forget that. Let's work together. We work in the past, let's work together. He just turned and stared me for a while. Like, Come back. Forget the past. Let's work together. He slowly his hand came and he held my hand. I started crying. Because, you know, he thought, why I'm crying? I'm crying because I remember what Swami said. He'll settle it. And right in Puttaputi itself, he settled this one mm -hmm. And he came and hugged me. He said, I'm so sorry. Don't cry to me. I'm so sorry. You know, I said, no, this is not 
the other two, Loy and Loy and his wife, something dramatic happened. After a few months, this incident, they both became anti Sai Baba, not anti Jaga. I don't know what happened, you know, they asked, they wanted something to happen, or they didn't get what their life's fulfillment. Huh? They, so they stopped talking about me. They said, I think Sai Baba. So that also got out, out of the way. So that is a, but what is the, one of the best, one of the best incidents in my, among the best incidents of my life, you know, of me trying to fulfill Swami's teachings was this. They became anti Sai Baba, then not, they stopped attacking Jaga. Then about two years later, I get a call in my office. Hello, Jaga, uh, this is uh, this Saras here, you know. Saras who? <laughs> Saras, you know, your neighbor. This lady, he was the, MC, the lawyer's wife, was my neighbor, you know. I didn't, my God, this lady who was attacking me viciously for a few years, now calling me, you know. I thought, finished. She's a very big mouth, she's not, okay. <laughs> I thought, oh my God, I'm bracing now myself for, for uh, another, some, what is she going to say? You know, Jaga, I was wondering, uh, can you help me? Uh? I said, you sure? I said, oh, what's up? No, you know, she has some, some business problem she had, you know. You know can you help me to sort this out? And all? I said, no, sure, of course I'll help you, no, no problem. You know. you know, I'll, 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 I'll look into it. I put the phone on. I put the phone on, I saw tears came to life. Swami, this is the, the greatest thing in my life because here's a lady who attacked me viciously, you know. Yet she knows when she calls Jaga, and ask for help, they all not, not say no. That was really, I mean, at least I'm fulfilling Swami's teachings in that way. So that's a very, very nice incident in, in, in my life. So like that, there were little, little incidents, you know, that happened. And uh, I can go on to a whole morning, you know, when I'm 10 o'clock already, I got to sleep or so. <laughs> so I just came, as all of you know, I just landed from, uh, from Fiji. You know. And uh, we had a very tough time there in Fiji also. We went down. Tough means, I mean, a very, what, a fantastic, we achieved a lot. You know, now Fiji is not going to launch the whole program. Fiji is going to launch the interfaith thing. They're going to, somebody already done Within the, the evening, I finished one session, already they donated a, a challenge, a trophy for the daughter, not that noble son, noble daughter, you know, for the, for the interfaith thing. So, hopefully that will happen, that we will move forward. And then they're going to get the president. They already got talk about going to get the president to, uh, to release the award and to give the award in his name, President Award, huh? as a patron, as a patron for this uh, hope agenda. So that's a uh, thing, and I think ten o'clock, young fellow, will stay so sleepy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to thank all of you for coming and starting this day, and I want to thank my host, uh, Dr. Guna, you know, and his wife and his son here for accepting the spiritual refugees, you know, into his house. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is spiritual refugee today, eh? Ah, right, right, right. Real refugee, but. <laughs>